Luxury smart home systems like Control 4, Crestron, and Savant can cost anywhere from $50,000 all the way up to a, a cool quarter of a, of a million dollars. But what if Apple HomeKit or Google Home, say using Matter, could give you 80% of that luxury experience for a fraction of the price? In this video, I'm, I'm going to compare and deep dive what luxury platforms do best, such as AV distribution, high-end customization, and uh, uh, reliability versus what matter with Apple HomeKit or Google Home can do with shades, lighting, voice control, and most of all, costs. So join me now as we deep dive in, in, into what Apple HomeKit and Google Home can do using matter and how it stacks up against the big guys. Okay, so what is a luxury automation uh, platform? If you've got an ear to the world of home automation, you're probably familiar with brands like Control4, Savant, Crestron, Lutron, Josh AI, URC, and so many more. These systems are for those that can afford to invest $50,000 to $250,000 on systems to automate their, their home, their lifestyle, and, and so forth. They are feature packed, provide a high level of customization. They're, they're super uh, reliable, but they come with a very high price tag. And if you're like me, you don't have that, that kind of cash uh, laying around, but want a, a, a luxury in you know, home in intelligence ex experience without the unnecessary bridges, exposed wires, and, and all those nuances that, that come with a DIY uh, setup. As I mentioned, in my home, I'm building the Ultimate Matter smart home that, that rivals those of a luxury home automation uh, platform. So the question remains, can Apple HomeKit or Google with Matter compete against these luxury home automation platforms? Before we d dive into each system, let's kind of take a look at, at how each of these integrate to each other and kind of the, the architecture of these systems. The way that these luxury platforms are, are set up, all of these systems are professionally installed and, and managed, and everything is based on drivers and IP integrations for the most part. Most of, of everything is, is done via hardwired uh, uh, connections, and the integrations to each device and setup is usually proprietary. So that means that it's, it's unique for the system and it can't be shared with anything else. Matter with Apple HomeKit and Google Home, on the other hand, is substantially different. So things are installed by the homeowner. Integrations are based on an open source protocol called Matter, which is the kind of the uh, unifying uh, universal language that connects devices to to one another. Now, um, devices primarily communicate wirelessly via Wi-Fi or a protocol called Thread, and the, in and the integrations are not proprietary and connect to any matter environment, but you have limited customization for each uh, device through Apple HomeKit or Google Home or thereabouts. With both Apple HomeKit and, and Google, I am well aware that you can connect third-party bridges to extend functionality. However, that's not what I'm wanting in, in my home. The goal is to have everything connect to Apple HomeKit or Google Home through Matter and communicate over Thread and Wi-Fi. So this eliminates any um, cables or exposed cables, um, you know, unnecessary bridges, things like that. The hope is that we increase uh, reliability and reduce confusion when something goes wrong. Now, with that being said, let's look at the top players in the luxury home automation sector and see what they are great at. Control 4 typically has a lower cost of entry compared to Savant, Crestron, etc. from mid-sized projects. They are a solid performer with an audio-video distribution, lighting, and, and touch screens. Savant takes a different approach with, with a whole home experience, including power management and, and, and so much more. Experts state that Savant is much better at lighting management than Control 4. As you can see here, they've, they've heavily in, invested in whole home energy uh, uh, management, um, but then also when it comes to shade control and lighting and just the overall simplicity of, of, of the app, Savant is probably leaps and bounds ahead of Control 4 as, as far as the, the entire home experience within home automation. Crestron is a true enterprise grade system that really allows for endless customization from yachts, fine estates, resorts to boardrooms, the options to customize 
with a restaurant or endless um, to kind of make their brand more residential of a feeling they've uh, come out with the their own app or OS called uh, Crestron Home, just just more of a refined ex- ex- experience for the residential market. But again, having the same backbone or um, you know ex- uh, complexity as what's used in a corporate in- environment to deliver a true rock solid ex- experience. Now, this is really the premium and the most expensive option for home automation. What, what about Lutron and Josh AI? Lutron is very unique in how it, it functions and connects to other platforms. Lutron f- functions as a native ecosystem uh, uh, using their system called RA3 Homeworks or Caseta. This uh, manages uh, lighting, shades, keypads, uh, sensors, and, and scheduled. You know, the AV world sees a Lutron as really the gold standard for performance and reliability. With that being said, however, Lutron can also play an integration first role. For example, where Crestron, Savant, or Control 4 often act as the brains of the home, Lutron is often integrated as the best in class lighting and shade subsystem. And then there's Josh AI. Josh AI recently came out with with more of a full automation uh, system but it's it's claim the fame is that it's a um it's the luxury voice control that sits on top control for savant or or crestron in environment and so where people use josh ai a lot is um controlling the other uh, systems through through voice and having a truly intelligent system where um, the others may come up short now that we've taken a, a brief look at the top luxury automation platforms, how does Apple HomeKit and or Google Home with Matter stack up? I've broken this down into four areas, being lighting and shades, audio and video, climate and energy, as well as security and access. Let's talk lighting and shades. So at the pro level, uh, being uh, Lutron HomeWorks and their uh, uh, catcher uh, lighting uh, system, as well as a uh, Savant, they that they really have the ultra luxury uh, uh, products for uh, lighting and shades and they also have these uh, direct integrations to core systems when thinking about this with HomeKit, without using uh, third-party hubs you can control lights with matter uh, light switches such as the eve uh, light switches for shades when it comes it really comes down to the motors that the manufacturers use to power the shades so the motors need to have a a matter chip uh, directly in the motor to connect to to home kit or google home without a third-party hub so the verdict if you Compile the parts right, Home HomeKit or Google Home can really cover 80% of your everyday needs within lighting and shades. It's just kind of rethink, rethinking the uh, uh, process and, and, and getting the right parts. Audio and, and video is an, an interesting one here. So both pro level and hobbyists can use so, uh, Sonos for audio and have audio in multiple rooms at the same time. However, the uh, ability to control and distribute both audio and video is done much better by the pro level systems. With that being said, within the the HomeKit app and the dashboard, as well as its Google Home uh, dashboard and, and, and whatnot, there is not a direct integration to audio systems. So to have, you know, uh, say native audio distribution, you need to um, use the Apple HomePods, uh, you know, disperse th- uh, th- uh, throughout the room or use the um, AirPlay 2 uh, functionality if you want to connect other audio systems. So my goal is to actually have a workaround with this using uh, the Ava Cinema remote, um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but you know, uh, looking at the verdict here, you know, when it comes to to to, to uh, AV and uh, distribution, you know, Home HomeKit is great for single rooms for this topic, but I don't recommend it for you know uh, whole home AV switching unless you have a comfortable way of working with a Sonos or a comparable system. Climate and energy, both pro and home kit level systems have fairly decent, you know, a climate and energy uh, uh, management, depending which accessories you buy. As I mentioned, Savant goes over and above with a whole home, you know, energy management uh, system. But when you use things like um, a, a matter based uh, uh, thermostat for the home, 
um, you know, uh, a matter based outlets and, and so forth, then you, you can also get some uh, intelligence and some automations within energy through HomeKit and Google Home. Security and access. So it really d depends on, on, on what you're trying to accomplish on the on this topic. Um, if you're just looking for a, a way to remotely unlock doors, um, c you know, control access to uh, uh, certain things and, and uh, uh, they're about, I think HomeKit is going to get you what you're uh, looking for. You know, there's a plethora of new smart locks on the market now that are matter and enabled. Um, and, and actually um, a company called Abode makes a HomeKit compatible alarm system, um, you know, that integrates natively to Apple HomeKit. You know, it'll be interesting to, to see the updates in this uh, uh, category as it's so heavily managed by by uh, uh, big dogs uh, such as like Alarm.com, ADT, uh, Vivint, and, and more, which, large, which largely base their system on a Z-Wave uh, uh, platform. Reliability and network. Pro-level systems use dedicated controllers and pro installers. These systems are typically centralized in in the house and largely connected with with uh, uh, Cat six Ethernet uh, cables. Um, in in doing so, it provides a relatively bulletproof a system. You know, HomeKit with Matter or Google Home, it's it's more of a dispersed in environment, right? So the success of Matter fully relies on the quality of your network in the, in the house. Systems like Unify and Eero, which actually just launched a Wi-Fi access point that with Thread Radio inside of it, are going to be the gold standard for the backbones of any uh, great smart home. And just as I mentioned before, your home network is partially the secret sauce to a great network or a great smart home ex experience. And last but not least, the user experience. You know, aside from a solid uh, network setup, the user experience is the other key ingredient to making your smart home and, and investment useful. In luxury homes, you know, pro level systems tend to have a, a touch screen in every key room supported by a handheld remote. You know, many have, you know, great apps for phones as well, but the experience is largely on touch screens, remotes, and, and voice like Josh AI if equipped. HomeKit users can, you know, interact with, um, with the uh, system via their phone, Apple Watch, or at times even an iPad. So a, a lot of homeowners are mounting iPads on, on the wall to have that touch screen experience. You know, there's not really a remote control just yet. Um, but as I mentioned for, for my system, I'm, I'm using the Ava cinema remote and running Google home on that. So yes, it is, it's uh, separate from Apple home kit, but it's, it still gives me that remote control experience without having to just do everything on, on my phone or on my watch and, and things like that. So the uh, a verdict here, you know, matter is catching up, ex especially in the area of voice and app experience. Um, and I do believe that it's only going to be maybe a, a year or two before we really start to see a beautiful user experience with Apple HomeKit, uh, matter, Google Home with matter and so forth. When I was at Cedia this year, seeing Akara exhibit and showcasing matter in a professional in environment was really intriguing. The industry is really headed in that direction, but it's, it's pretty far off because there's a lot of things to address, such as whole home audio and, and video, sec security, cameras, and so, and so many more things. However, my personal uh, opinion is that for most families, matter is really quickly closing the gap for affordable luxury smart homes. So my question to, to you is, would you rather trust HomeKit using Matter for your luxury uh, a smart home for a fraction of the cost, or would you rather invest 50 to $200,000 on a Crestron or Savant system and, and have finer control over the system, but with a much higher cost and, and higher upkeep? Let, uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, if you like this, this uh, video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe where I post a new video every other week.